Good evening and welcome to Palmetto Cats Live. I'm so thankful all of you are here. I just want to go ahead and welcome my guest, Mr. Steve Douglas. Good evening, sir. Are we live? We are live. <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, we're, we're all in here. We're excited to hear more about the Catfish Conference, the virtual Catfish Conference. And we're going to get to that in just a second. And we actually have some other guests that are going to come on and talk with us about it. But first, I want to shout some people out because everybody loves to hear their name. And uh, we're going to do that now. We got Country Boy, Catfish, and Mike Irvin, Avid, Catfish, and Crappy, Dance Creation, Paul Nation. We got Lyle from Catfish Weekly. We got Hagen Grubbs, Fishing with Big Mike, a member of my boom squad. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's see, Lynn Leeper, John Patrick Jr., uh, Sharina, Keeping It Real. What's up, Sharina? Nice live stream today. She is also a member of my boom, boom squad, Finn Seeker. Uh, Mike's Outdoor Adventures, another Boom Squad member. Welcome in, sir. Fishing with Big Mike. I think we already got you, buddy. We got a bunch of those same going on. Jason Ward, two old vets. My wife, my beautiful wife. There she is. <laughs> John Patrick Jr. Fellas, all, always remember, shout out your wife or your significant other. Ladies, shout out your husbands. Make sure that they know you appreciate them. Robert James, we got. Texas Fishing Outdoors, Eric Burnside, One Ton Fishing, Mexicat, Catfish and Katie Collins. They're going to be live. She's going to be live with Avid Fisherman tonight after my show. And uh, it's going to be cool. Katie is a sweet person. She's a member of the Boom Squad, so you know I love her. And uh, she's going to co-host with Avid. They're going to be talking to Mr. Mad Catter tonight. Make sure you check that out. We got Has Life, LG Bass, Daniel Rimmer. We got Steven Steele over here on Facebook. Shout out to Cooper, my Wonder Lab. Hey, Cooper. Uh, man, we got a bunch of people. We got 132 people in here already, Steve. Do you think people want to know about the Catfish Conference? Say it again. <laughs> I said, do you think people want to know something about the oh, Catfish Conference? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad they do. That you know, it, it, it's sad not to be able to have it this year, but we got we got some options. Yeah, Mr. Gadget Outdoors, Fishing Magician, Chad is popping. David Engel, Chucky Cats. Woo, Greg Adcock. All right, we'll never get started. Maurice Kaysen, Randall Wait. if I keep reading them. So, y'all, I'll shout you out. If you got any questions, go ahead and get them ready. Um, we're going to let Steve talk for a little bit, and we're going to bring some other people up to talk. But uh, as I see these questions, we're going to answer them as best as we can. And I guess I'm speaking for Steve and his team, but <laughs> we're going to try to. <laughs> we're going to try. Well, first thing, I want to thank you for reaching out to Hervé and I and the Catfish Conference team to help us do this live streaming virtual Catfish Conference this year. It's well, going to be a I good think, go. I thank you for the opportunity. I mean, we were talking that show when Chris and Dieter and Chunky were in here and you had mentioned something about it. And I was like, hey. I'm willing to help. <laughs> so I really do appreciate it. The weekend anglers in the house, Rick Jenkins, Mike Irvin. Somebody else said, hey, Mark Clark, the bridge man, Creole, Chesapeake. That's who I saw. Dawning. Okay. So Steve, and um, and I think I'm gonna bring um Cat, Cat Con Herb up here. <laughs> right. Sorry, hey, how's it going, guys? So, um, Hervé, uh, I know your last name looks like Dromt. Is that the correct pronunciation? That's one of the pronunciations. I, I think one of them. <laughs> just say Hervé. Uh, I don't know who. We'll you know, call you Catcon yeah. Hervé. There we well, go. Catcon Hervé is, is um, hey, Fishing with the Dom is Steve's right-hand man, if I understand correctly. Is that is that true when it comes to Catfish Conference? That's right. It could be his. I'm his right hand, or he's mine. One of the two. There we you go. We make it work. So y'all are y'all are team team. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Hey, there's Paula Smith. Hey, Paula Parker. It's Paula Smith. Here. She's a hoot. She sure is. <laughs> Bob Cannon. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't imagine. I, I'd love to go fishing with her one day. Hey, Uncle Josh. All right. So Hervé and Steve, I know that canceling this conference had to be like a mind bender, a heartbreaker, a stomach twister. Tell us everything that went into canceling it and why you decided to do it and all that good stuff. Now let Steve go first and then we'll drop it down to Hervey. 
Oh, you want me to go first? Yes, sir. Well, well we just we were getting some concerned vendors and and uh, attendees asking about the corona and what steps we were taking to hopefully help the social distancing. But we just we just couldn't bring everything together the way we needed to. You know, the Catfish Conference is a social event, and it, it just wouldn't have been the same. You know, I could have got some vendors there, but, you know, nobody was, I don't think anybody was going to attend because of the, the COVID. So we uh, we thought about it and, and we, we didn't want to do it. But the next best thing, I guess, is what we're trying to talk about tonight. Hervey, what, what's your... Well, what your... Steve is right. I mean, first of all, it was a sad moment for the team. You know, it's something we... You know, we, we complain all year round about the organization of it, and we're always like, there's always something going on, but we love it. I mean, uh, it, it's a community event. It's it's a friends gathering. I mean, everybody knows each yeah. other, and everybody's buddy. I mean, the, the entire industry is there. The sport is there at one spot, one time, one location. It's just awesome. So when you have to bring bad news like that to to everybody, and and you know, I, I would say selfishly us first. We we're just sad, but at the same time, you know, you, you cannot ignore what's going out, uh, what's going on out there. Uh, I mean, the day we we announced that we we're canceling the conference, I mean, the day before there were what four thousand plus casualties from the virus. You, you just wow. can't. You have to do the right thing, and you, you've got to take things seriously for all those who, you know, lost some loved ones. You just can't go blind and say, you know, nothing's going to happen. Right. You could be the next event that spreads that to somebody else, and sure. and just spreading it to one person is is too much. So, right. um, but at the same time, you know, it's opening the door to many other opportunities. And you know, as the sport of catfishing is evolving, I think we're going to see more and more of those digital events popping up because just for the vendors, they can be at all the places at the same time. And, and mm -hmm. for them, you know, it's it's not like with other type of fishings you know other type of fishing types where you know you, you really have like full-time companies i mean it's, it's like massive companies catfishing is growing slowly slowly and and you see those companies that are you know uh, it could be a family a couple could be a few people you know working right. after hours on the weekends and, and it requires a lot of sacrifices for those guys to come and attend those events it's just you just don't wake yeah. up and do it so you know you, you got to do the right thing and I think this, at the end of the day, is going to help. It's going to help in terms of visibility overall. So, yeah. Um, and I think there's so, so, not to interject, but there's, you know, our catfish community has already started to do things like this even before COVID got really, really bad. Uh, I mean, well, no, not true. It's been really, really bad for a while. But, uh, you know, before we thought it would last into 2021. Um, you know, there's a guy, uh, a YouTube channel called Fishing with the Chad, and he started this um, couples tournament, a virtual couples fishing tournament. And so that was kind of like something innovative that kind of pushed the YouTube catfishing community into the virtual world where, you know, we're competing in a tournament, but we're doing it virtually on camera. So to have the catfish conference and to have these vendors that are going to come on and present, it's kind of like an extension of that. And like you said, I can see this not, you know, we all want to get back to the physical catfish right. conference because meeting people is the main point. I mean, why do people go? Yeah, they get good discounts, but you know, they want to meet Steve Douglas and, and Kat Con Herve and Chris Flores, you know, they want to meet these people that they look up to or have seen videos or Paula Smith or, um, so, but I, but I do see, like you said, you know, when a vendor can't be there, there's these virtual rooms. Now these, um, these options for people to have that they may not have had. And, and even if it's not the best thing of being there in person, they're getting that exposure. Right. Right. So what are the, um, now I, I was, I'm going to, I'm going to put myself out there. You know, when it first came out, people were wearing masks. It wasn't before masks were, uh, required. You know, I was one of those guys. I'm not wearing those stinking mask. I'm not doing that. I'm not. And guess who got COVID? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. And um, it knocked me down pretty hard. I was down for a good week. So after that, I, I saw how serious it was. And so has, you know, a lot of people. 
Now, in, in Kentucky, where the ter- where the um, conference was going to be, what are the current uh, like rules for social gatherings? Well, uh, there's a limitation, and those rules are changing all the times. Um, they come from the state, from the office of the governor, and, and then the venues, depending on how they're managed, kind of impose some stuff on top. And, and basically, we had to enforce, um, you know, all those uh, uh, stations to sanitize hands at pretty much everywhere you can think about. We had to put so much distance between the vendors, which that was not the problem. But mm-hmm. then we had a sort of obligation to maintain the crowd spaced as well. And, you know, in a booth, you're not going to have a line of 100 people just lining up in front of someone and just say, hey, you know, stay there for a second. And no. he's going, to <laughs> you know, it's not going to happen like that. Um, so uh, all those requirements were simply not enforceable. And in today's context, I mean, as I said, we, we just didn't want to put the risk on, on everybody out there. It's not because reasonable. ultimately the responsibility falls on you guys. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah. If something happens, we are liable as the event organizer. And uh, that's something that the insurance policy does not cover. So mm-hmm. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and, and we would have okay. hated, hated to see anybody get sick. Right. And something, God forbid, happened seriously to, you know, I know you, you had it, but you got over it, but a lot of folks don't. So I wouldn't yeah. want that on my conscience. Right. Yeah, and, and you know you're you. It's it's when you when you really step back and you really look at it, what you're saying is I'm putting a conference before a life. Right. And once you make it as simple as that, there's no there's no contest. You right. Know, life or a fun conference. <laughs> you know. We well we can I think we can still have a fun conference this new generation of YouTube per se. I mean, I mean, I mean a fun in person conference. Right. 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 <laughs> All right. Let me clarify. Yeah, we, we had a lot of new guys that, that had never been to the conference before planned on coming this year. That yeah. was kind of really let down, but yeah. you know, it'll be better next year. It's going to give us more time to even do a better job for 2022. All right. So those are the reasons why. Um, and, and Dan saying, you know, he had someone pass away to COVID. And I'm sure most of us have someone that we we know. Um, and Danny Cow said, uh, I appreciate you guys taking everyone's health in mind. I believe this was the correct thing to do during these difficult times. I'll continue to support CatCon and small vendors. So there you go. Thank you, Danny, for that. I'm sure that means a ton to Herve and Steve just to hear someone say that. Um Here's another person, Tennessee Fun Outdoors, and it would not have been worth losing one of the few good guys the world still has. This would have been my first, but it's something to look forward to. Absolutely. It would have been my first, too. Um, you know, there's a lot of new guys. Yep, he was one of the new guys. And, uh, you know, we're talking about one year, and if we all do our best to, to try to stop the spread, then, you know, we won't have to worry about this, you know. Right. <laughs> so, that's right. So anyway, so anyway, let's 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 get out of the um the depressing cellar there that it was canceled. And we can't do anything about it. Let's move forward and let's talk about what uh, you guys have come up with the virtual CatCon. So uh, from what I understand, and I'm thankful to have a little bit of a part and a pinky finger, as I told somebody, um, we're kind of setting up a day to where vendors can come in and show off products and stuff. You want to elaborate on that? Herbie, you want that or you want me to take it? Oh, uh, you go ahead, Steve. Okay. Well, we've got time slots allot- allotted for these vendors to come in and we are going to require them to have a good Wi-Fi. We, we want the experience for the viewer to be the best it can. So we would like for them to have a good Wi-Fi connection. Uh, we'd like for them to set up a, a Something kind of like you have on your backdrop there, Kevin, uh, and, and kind of and kind of display their their products, uh, cut some deals. You know, each vendor will have like 10, 10 minutes to, to show their goods, and then uh, five or ten minutes of questions from from the audience, uh, where they'll give people deals or, or uh, giveaways, things like that. So it's going to be very interesting. And in between those, we're also going to have some seminar speakers that will speak for like 20 or so minutes. And we've got a couple of good ones already. Can you um, tell us any of them? Can you tell us? 
I have cornered Luke Nichols. Ooh. All right. <laughs> and, I like that phrase, cornered him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Terry Rogers, he's he's going to be talking about what it takes to be a guide, uh, Ooh, what it takes to get started awesome. to be a guide. And uh, an old school guy that you guys know of, but you really don't know him. Uh, he, he, he was around 15 years ago, hot and heavy. Family got to him. I, I say he went to work, but now he's back, which is Epic Catfish, Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a real knowledgeable guy. He's going to do a seminar as well. Awesome. But, but for, you, for you new guys, Tim's been around a long time. It's, he, just because you see him new on a YouTube channel, but he's got a lot of experience, and, and he's detailed. He's probably the most detailed guy I've ever detailed. seen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You yeah. might have to give him a, a little more than 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, so far that's who we've got. And then we've got uh, the vendors I can tell you are coming is uh, I'm pretty sure Catfish Fever is coming. I talked to him the other day, but he's on a plane headed to Texas. Wow. Uh, I talked to the guys at Catfish. They're coming on board. Of course, Monster Rod Odors. TWC is going to do something. Uh, the Mad Cats guys are doing something. Oh, okay. Of Muddy River catfishing and ripping lips. That's how I've got right now. But when I decided to do this, well, I started well. and then I went fishing. I took two days off and went fishing. So tomorrow I'm going to get back on it. Caleb Page said yes. I'm not sure what that was yep. in response to. Yeah, well, he's coming for sure. Caleb, you're, well, you're coming. coming for sure. Okay, he there he that. is. Caleb Page yep. from um, Big Cat Fever. Yeah. So or we'll catch, have a good. Catch the fever. Uh, yeah, we'll have a good. <laughs> full day, day and a half of vendors and seminar speakers and giveaways. And, uh, you know, they're going to talk about some conservation as well. I mean, I, I think that's important to keep that idea alive in our industry. And so basically, you know, it sounds like you're, you've, and this, this process has just started. I yeah. Mean, we're from, learning. from when you announced it, you know, you and Hervey have been working feverishly, uh, you know, to, to try to get this thing organized and, yeah. and and get everything ready to go. And, you know, we're going to use this same platform. Uh, I think, Hervey, you said CatCon bought this platform, correct? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so they have their own platform. I'm going to go help just – I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do my best to try to keep the conversation rolling and prompt some questions and, uh, you know, what, what would you say to any vendors listening? Because I'm sure there's some vendors listening that maybe haven't made that commitment yet. What, what can you do to what, – what, what do you say that uh, they should be looking forward to if they do come in? Hervé, well, you got anything for them? Or I, Steve? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I think we're reaching such an amount of people, and it's not just the day of the event. The day of the event is a certain amount of people, but then the rest of the year, all those videos stay there for so long, and I think we're engaging with all the, the you know, we call them the everybody, the CatCom nation, but we are engaging with all of those folks out there for such a long time, and we get consistent questions, and we're trying to link everybody together. When someone has a question, we send it back to the vendor, or, or vice versa, and, and so uh, I really think it's it's the human experience that we, we were having at the Catfish Conference that's the most common thing, and I don't think you find that in many other type of events. Uh, it's not just, you know, there's a commercial part, of course, but the, the way people interact between each other and our role is not to shove product. Our role is just to push everybody in a room and say, now everybody sit down and just talk about your, your mm -hmm. passion. You want to buy something? You buy some. If, if you want to, if you're there for the knowledge, go and get what pleases you. And I think that's the, the no pressure aspect that you're not gonna find anywhere else. And and again, I think Catfish Conference has been there for a really long while now. So I think we're known for that. It's the social experience. It's the the brotherhood of Catfish Conference. And right. Well, here you go. here's, here's a good. Here's a good. I'm sorry to cut you off, Steve. Here's a good comment to go on top of what Hervé just said, just to add, think about the value of doing product demos and having them live with conference content. So yeah, so you'll have people like, I mean, since Caleb is in here, um, you know, we've all seen that that video where the forklift lifts him up with the, yeah. with the big cat fever rod and, um, you know, doesn't break. And, you know, that kind of thing can still be 
shown right. on a live stream. You know, it can still be shown on a live stream. So um, I think that's kind of what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Well, we wanted, we wanted to connect anglers with vendors this year since we couldn't do it personally. But uh, I think we've got a, a good enough channel uh, platform to we, – we, well, we're, we're a targeted market anyway. So anybody that's going to come to the event would, can show up and still – get the deals and, and such. Caleb says he's retired, he's retired. from, from deadlifts. <laughs> <laughs> well, Caleb well, he's, gained he's little, been Caleb packing was, on so much muscle that rod probably can't lift him up anymore. Challenge. That's what I was going to say. He's gained so Challenge. much weight with the, <laughs> the muscles. <laughs> Caleb, we uh, expect from you that you are going to do a live demonstration. We're not, you're not. Oh, up man. <laughs> man. Well, um, you know, and, and I think the other thing, too, that, um, you know, and, and as we announced that I was part of this, I've been getting <laughs> getting too deep now. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> He's, Chris said the, the Hellcat can handle him. <laughs> anyway, before we get too deep in or um, – well, I lost my comment. So people have, you know, questioned me and whatever. And I just say, call Steve, call Steve, call Steve. But um, uh, get some stuff done. Thanks for watching. Well, Kevin, Sorry. let me also say, you know, since that's the first time something of that size happens in the sport, I think, you know, it's an experience. So it's not exactly what we expect to deliver. It's also what mm. people out there want. So we're, we're getting tons of messages. Hey, you should do this or think about that. And I think that's the perfect opportunity to ask everybody out there. You go on catfishconference.com. You flood us with everything you'd like to see. We're here to make it happen for you guys, not only the vendors. It's all of you out there that have an expectation. Let us know what to do, what, you, what you'd like. We'll make it happen. But so it's not our best guess. It's it's what the audience wants, and we'll deliver that in a silver platter. Mr. Melhorn's been under a rock, so <laughs> but he may he may be he just trying be. to help us out. He may just be trying to help us out. Um, it's a good point. We haven't mentioned the dates. February twenty sixth and twenty seventh. If we get enough vendors to go a second day, we're planning right. at least twenty vendors a day plus about four speakers. Is that right? That's right, Kevin. Yeah, uh, you know we we have slots for fifty vendors, mm -hmm. twenty five a day. We have spots for a bunch of different, but that was just to open it up and and have right. a schedule ready, so that all Stephen Hervey had to do was fill in the gaps. Uh, will there be a charge to view the virtual conference? No, no. Free of charge for for viewers. There's no parking yeah. fees. It's great. No parking fees. <laughs> <laughs> So and we laugh, but that's I mean, yeah, they're not getting the physical experience, but it's going to be one hundred percent free for the viewer, um, mm -hmm. other than what they buy, of course. Um, now we talked about the you know vendors coming on and offering deals. Um, what what like what are the stipulations for those deals? I think we kind of mentioned that they would only be good that weekend. Is that true? Is that what you're encouraging vendors to do? Well, we want the vendors to. Uh make the money that you know those those particular days but we are planning on uh with this main video we're doing we are planning on dicing up each vendor segment and posting that as well to be viewed years down the road the links that they put in these that they want us to put in these videos will be determined how long they want them to run how long those deals want to run right but somebody like me i mean if i get a 10 percent deal in a, a video that runs for a year, I'll, I'll, I'll honor that for 10 years. Okay. So <laughs> that's me uh, personally. Epic, Epic catfish. No, we're talking about the, the virtual one. Um, but it's planned for the same days. Yeah. He should know that <laughs> it's planned for the same days as the actual conference would have happened. Right. Um, so, uh, I, I remember now my, my thought, um, so I've been getting questions and most of them I've just pushed to Steve, but I have heard the questions. One of the questions was, um, you know, what if, what if the fans have, 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 uh, questions that, 
you know, they're not ready to answer. And I think the answer to that is they, they field the questions they want to field. And uh, just like we're in a situation right now, if I were to ask Steve, you know, Hey Steve, how much do you weigh? And if Steve doesn't want to answer that, he's going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to not answer. send me an email, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I think that that would be for any vendors listening. And, and of course to the fans too, you know, make sure your, your questions are appropriate and, and they can't tell you about things that aren't public, but you know, if you want to know Steve's weight and Steve Steve doesn't want to share it publicly, he can say, "Hey, email me at monsterrodholders.com." Or so I think that's a, a way that you know they can field the questions without seeming standoffish. Right, right. And we can help also filter those questions. I mean, th those conversations are going to be guided. Um, so it's going to be easier for us to go through all of the the questions we're getting and just relay the most important ones. To the vendors and then it does not prevent us to gather all those questions that were unanswered depending on the, on the right. volume of them and right. share that with the vendors and just like get their feedback later on right. and we can post that somewhere so we like to get things answered for sure and there's there, it won't be i can't imagine that i'll be able to answer questions in chat because hopefully there will be thousands of people in there um Yes, CatCon will need moderators. We'll make Chris Flores a moderator. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there will be moderators for inappropriate stuff. But, you know, if you've ever seen, you know, a, a live stream to where there's a bunch of people in it, there's no way you can read a question. So someone like Hervé or another person on the staff could be off to the side writing down questions and they can slide them to me, the ones that they want me to ask. And that will help mm. filter out. The, the silly questions, you know, as I call them. Um, and, and there'll be more substance to the questions. Is the conference going to be on multiple platforms or just on YouTube? I think we're trying to get it on Facebook as well, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Facebook and YouTube. Just like I'm broadcasting right now. And that's how, um, that's how Caleb was able to join. And a couple others art was on Facebook and Robert, mm -hmm. um, I can see the only problem is I can see all the questions and like people on Facebook can't see the YouTube comments and the YouTube people can't see the Facebook comments, but they'll all be coming into a stream just like this. So, um, you know, yes, we'll be doing at least one Facebook page and one YouTube stream. And that will be the catfish conference. And so that's the other thing, the YouTube and the Facebook links for the catfish conference are in the description. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to miss, you know, the, the when they go live or any updates, go ahead and go click on that and subscribe. Um, man, we got 215 people in here right now listening. So thank awesome. you all for being thank here. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. And uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Help me out. Please help me out. <laughs> but I, I, I want to bring somebody. No, it will not be on my page. Um, so this is I'm just helping out. I'm, you know going to hang out with Steve and Hervé and the team and I'm going to be helping host, but it will not be on my page because you know, it's not my conference. Um, so we're going to be on the catfish conference page only. So make sure you subscribe to catfish conference, YouTube and catfish or catfish conference, Facebook or both. Do both. Do both. <laughs> do both. And, and, and share this too. We, yeah. you know, the more people we get in here, the better it's going to be for, for everybody involved. I'd love to see all you guys get together and do a friendly catfish tournament using your products. Well, there's something like that happening, um, but we don't want to get into that right now. We're just talking about the conference today, but um, we can definitely talk about that another time. Now, talking about the conference, I want to bring somebody in who's popped in that has been there since the first one. Um, so I'm going to bring him in, Mr. Christopher Flores. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hey, Chris. How's it going? Doing good, man. First catfish conference. I remember that Steve called me up and he says, Hey, I'm I'm doing this thing called the catfish conference. It's gonna be in a boat garage in some little town. <laughs> like, and what is this now? <laughs> he said, Yeah, I don't know if you want to come or not. I'm expecting like maybe two, three hundred people to show up. It's like, man, I don't know. Let me see. Flights, the hotel. I said, ah, you know what? Steve's my friend. Let's go, let's go see what happens. We get there, and I tell you what, man, it, there was boats on lifts and oil stains on the floors and tools everywhere. And 
man we we cleaned that thing up took us a couple days got it all set up hung, hung up banners put tables up and people were beating the door down to get in and it was amazing yeah. and it was real for sure since that day um man it, it's it's an experience that like no other i'll never forget it and uh i continue to be a part of it you know so um now with the new thing going on I'm excited, man. Actually, believe it or not, I, I know it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be hands-on type thing, but I think it'll have a broader reach. All those people that could never make it, that have been wanting to go, but they can't travel from California or from wherever, you know, it's too far, too expensive. They can just hit a button and it's it's the catfish shopping network version. You know? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so. So yeah, get you some popcorn, uh, make a you know get a pizza going, and you just sit back, relax, and watch the show, and and take full advantage and get to see all the people you 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 watch on YouTube, just like at the conference, but in the comfort of your own home. So I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. So first of all, let's make Steve jealous real quick. <laughs> Hold up yours. Steve. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, I looked at my email and I didn't see anything in it. But if Ricky is listening, my email is, is. catfishinginfo at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this is a great thing, and and you know, I I think it's a good point to pull up. I didn't want it to go so far up. Uh, so if the virtual seminars make a big hit with this conference, would it be possible to set up a stage for future conferences for virtual seminars for people that? possibly can't make it i think that's an awesome idea yeah well it, a lot of it has to do with the amount of volunteers we have I mean, we've got yeah. our certain team but our team is spread so thin I and mean, if we had some volunteers i'll tell you what i'll be the first one okay you run that live camera <laughs> we'll do some live stuff all right there you go cool yeah so um oh man it went up Good that you're working to have a virtual conference. Glad to see you making it the best that can be. Kudos. Well, thank you, Steve. I'm sure uh, Herve and Steve, um, this Steve, now, one, appreciate one that. One thing I would like to say to Kevin is, is we're going to have this itinerary out soon with the times. Of course, everybody can know the date, but the times, you know, say, if, you, if you're interested in a Muddy River catfishing ride and you know Chris ain't going to be on until 4 o'clock that day and you ain't interested in nothing else, then – that gives the guy an opportunity to, to have that time frame. We'd love for everybody to stay all day long, but I know that's not going to be a deal, but at least we'll have the vendors listed and time slots for the, the, the folks to come in. And that'll, that'll go up in between each vendor too. So we kind of have yeah. a, a timeline going to where we'll open up the conference, give some opening remarks, tell people who aren't in my show tonight, um, cause they'll be wondering, you know, what's this format going to be? What's it going to look like? Um, and then we'll we'll have our first five vendors or, or so or whatever, however the format is going to be. But in between each vendor, we're going to give time for setup, um, you know, for people to get into the waiting room like Chris was. And they'll be setting up and we'll have time in between with that schedule posted as a constant reminder that you can you can come back whenever you want to. And right. we'll, we'll follow that schedule. <clears throat> so just a little recap if you're just in here and if you're just coming in welcome uh, we're talking about the virtual catfish conference which is going to happen on february 26th and 27th right here on youtube and facebook but you have to go subscribe to the facebook page and the youtube page of the catfish conference and that's in the description if you want an easy link to go do that please hit the thumbs up on screen we have steve douglas uh, CatCon Hervé and Muddy River Catfishing Chris Flores. Um, and we're just talking about the conference, the flow of it, how's it going to be, vendors. I got some ideas. Whoever's producing this, call me after the show. Sounds interesting with a lot of potential. There you go. Uh, I think Steve will say that you don't ever answer his calls. He Steve. don't ever answer my phone calls. <laughs> I'll call him as soon as that show, and he'll. I'm the most important guy filming a NASCAR racing show. I, think. <laughs> I ain't got time to mess with you piddly boys. <laughs> so, uh, Sharina, uh, can you go over those vendors you have so far? I know you're not done getting them, but will you go over the vendors you have so far? Uh, yep. Yeah. And I'm only joking with you, Dieter Melhorn, so don't get all wild. <laughs> he knows. Catfish fever. Catch the fever. 
catfish clothing, monster rod holders, tangling with catfish rods, mad cats rods, muddy river catfishing, and ripping lips. And, and I, I'm going to add to this thing tomorrow. All I got to do is pick up the phone and call a few guys, and uh, I'll have answers again tomorrow. I'll have twice this many tomorrow, most likely. Like I said, I, I started the other day, and then I got a hanker to go fishing and went fishing instead. So sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, man, priorities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, but Paula said, you guys need to smile. I know she's not talking about me, so she must be talking about you guys. Hey, listen, Herbie just had to put a bunch of kids to bed, so get him a bed. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I'm stressing. My wife is upstairs now trying to do that, so I'm <laughs> – well, hey, man, keep her happy. If you need to go, you need to go. <laughs> we'll be okay tonight. We'll see if I survive. <laughs> so how about this? Uh, just in case, uh, you know, and we have, a, we have a lot of people in chat right now, and uh, they're saying great things. I haven't seen anything um, bad or, what you know, whatever. Glad it's happening. Um, smiling is overrated. <laughs> uh, Caleb Page, call me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's say, that, and there's 200 people in here. Obviously, there's not 200 people in chat, right? So, what uh, what what would you say to anybody who isn't usually a vendor that maybe in this time of COVID and now that there's a different platform, maybe they couldn't afford to bring their setup all all the way down there, and now they can go through you to a virtual catfish conference. What would you say to them? Is there an opportunity for that? Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad you said that too. Because and here's something that I didn't really realize I was doing or we were doing until after we had canceled. But there's a couple gentlemen uh, that is pretty new to the, the catfish conference, and I know they probably worked really, really hard to get a bunch of stock built up for the catfish conference, and then here we don't have it. So I'm just letting them know. But one of them is catfish war. No, how, how do I say it? Cat Force One. Cat Force I One. Make, I think they make bank fishing rod holders and anchors maybe. And the other guy has never lost anchors, I believe. So mm -hmm. the, the smaller guys, Daniel. you know, they're welcome to come in uh, just like anybody else. It's probably more affordable now, you know, that they don't have to travel and, and do things like that and still get the benefit of the power of the Catfish Conference platform and possibly move some products. So yeah, Daniel Daniel Rimmer, I use I use Never Lost Anchors, and uh, you know he's a good guy. So Daniel, if you're listening, man, I'd, I'd love to see you on screen. Go ahead, Herbie. I'm sorry. And look, you know, I think all the all the vendors, but when I say vendors, everybody out there that has something to sell to you know to all all, all the anglers, you know, be proactive. Just get in touch with us. Let us know. Hey, you know, we, we maybe can't afford that, but. Can you help us out? Can you put some of the products on our website links or talk about it? Uh, we're here for that as well. And mm -hmm. so all of the products that you have on, on your regular website or just a Facebook page, let us know. We're happy to do a specific page, talk about it, show people what it is. And, um, you know, it's kind of part of the package anyways. The more we talk about all that stuff and, and the better we are. Yeah. That's, that's never lost anchors. That's Dan and Rimmer. Well, Daniel, I did send your wife. I think your wife is the one that got the email. So that's all the only connection I had. So let me know. Robert Thomas said, I still got my cat kind of allowance to spend. Can't wait for the virtual show. <laughs> well, we'll have oh. some good stuff. I feel like I feel like Tackle Bandit's gonna come in. He does live shows anyway. So if he he benefit doing Tackle Bandit, he's got a lot of stuff. So he's gonna be on my phone call list tomorrow as well. Okay. Um, yeah, so so one of the things, Caleb, D Dieter really wants you to call him. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so one of the things, you know, I, I wanted to mention and, you know, it, it's it's a tough it's a tough world to live in because you have to manage, you know, how am I going to reach all of these people without, you know, having that interaction? Um, is it going to be worth it for me to come on there, uh, you know, are people going to show up? So, Chris, what can you tell us? What can you do to encourage people to show up and watch this thing? Oh, well, first you got to subscribe. 
you know let's get that catfish conference channel growing um especially if this is going to become a thing and i know steve had mentioned maybe even possibly doing quarterly or something like that it all depends on how this goes so it's something you guys definitely won't want to miss out especially in the future because as with everything it only gets better in time you know um this would be like the the test run see how it flows um just like Dieter's jump in he's got ideas kevin helped out he's got ideas and it's it's just going to get better with time so uh, we all got to subscribe we got to share it um support the catfish community like we always have and i really honestly think this is going to be something really big and you know something that we could do more than once a year so you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel we got to grow it as as big as we can also a quick question uh Herve, uh they were asking i saw that pop up how can how are people going to be able to purchase i'm assuming it'll be through each vendor's individual website can we add the links to their website on the catfish conference uh page yes so what we intend to do there are several ways to to do that depending on what the vendor wants uh, but we can put the links or their coupon code or whatever type of discounts or link directly on um, on the comments or the, the video description at the moment we do it. We also are going to plan that ahead, of course. And so we are going to have that on the website, on the vendors page as well. And, and shout out to the vendors here. Send us everything you have, all the logos, all the stuff like that. We want to make it attractive, so just not a line of text. Send us everything to showcase who you are, what you have, so we can really talk about it and and, and push more traffic towards your site. Um, and then some of the vendors are going to sell on Catfish Conference. Uh, Steve, you're doing that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we are going to sell directly on Catfish Conference as well for certain, certain type of products. So it's going to be a mix of everything, but we'll make it very clear for each of the vendors uh, where to go, what to do, and when does it start, when does it end? Um, one of the big things with the conference was the ability for YouTubers to meet people and get together. Is there something we can do for everyone for a few minutes as well so they can see us? It's a great question. It is a great question. Uh, we, we just have to probably fit it in our uh, time allotment yeah. there somehow. Yeah, and yeah, if you I'd don't mind, there's so many good little channels popping up everywhere. I just watched this little lady tonight. I don't know where she came from, but she was watching uh, fishing on the river, and uh, it was kind of exciting to to see the new new YouTubers. So yeah, we help them out all we can because you yeah, know the YouTubers can help spread the news. <laughs> that's right. You know, and so that, that's something that we can talk about. And and Timmy, that's Timmy from Chesapeake Bay Catfishing. You know that that's one of those things that. Herve was talking about, you know, flood the flood the message board, flood the Facebook with questions so mm -hmm. that um, they can do whatever it is that, um, you know, we want to y'all want to to happen. And and Steve, I think that's a that's a great idea. Um, you know, sharing that sharing a stream code uh, to just like I share with you all and then YouTubers can pop up and we can chat with them just like I'm chatting with you for five minutes or 10 minutes at a time. So that's yeah. something we can talk about. Um, thank mm -hmm. you for that suggestion, Chesapeake. I'll, I'll we'll we'll brainstorm and make the, sure the it's community calling. is the community is there on YouTube. I mean, I've been watching these little live streams, and the the folks in chat, they're buddies, and, and you know, I, I think how do I don't want to put this. What, that's where they get their interaction at. It is mm -hmm. going to be on the chat. So the more mm -hmm. more have having chat, it's like meeting your buddies. It's that's virtually right. though and i think i think some people are underestimating how many people will show up in a chat for a live stream chris how many people i think you the last time you went live you had almost 200 in there just yeah, to watch was, you you and tim molina try to catch a fish i was doing <laughs> the, the bait fishing video man that that blew my mind i'm out there just catching bait you know waiting for a little bite with a little bait rod we had i think it got up to like 289 people watching <laughs> that's just for one one channel to see one guy so i imagine seeing caleb and and daniel and all these mad catters and steve and Dieter and all these people you know especially if we can get some youtube interaction in there which i think the more and more i think about it, it's a great idea <laughs> well but um 
you know, to have that going, you know, we'd have a lot more people in. And we have to recognize one thing. I think the secret recipe of the success of Catfish Conference truly has been YouTube from day one. I started with Steve, but then everybody kind of merged in and started talking about stuff. And mm -hmm. now when you, you just look up Catfish Conference, you've got way more YouTube videos popping up from all over the place talking about, you know, the, their walkthrough, their, all the, the vendor stuff, all the interviews. I mean, this is just awesome. And we see that. Uh, we watch all the videos. I mean, I do that every few days. I, I'm, I'm on YouTube. I see all of you guys. So, And Steve does the same secretly, we know. Um, <clears throat> but we recognize YouTube, all those guys out there, and, and we are going to make something special for, for you all. Yeah. So he, he mentioned my name, but, uh, you know, it's really for, for Hervé and, and Steve. Make sure that it's easy to find their product, to order their product. Don't just say it's up on Facebook. That's true. Many don't use Facebook. Well, I mean, like I say, we're going to put, we're going to split the vendors' videos up out of this 12-hour stream, let's say the first day. Then we're going to go pick Muddy Rivers out, Monster Rod Holders, Tangle Catfish. There'll be a little 15-minute video of nothing but them. All those links will be in there. All the links will be in the main video as well. So all you have to do is go down through your timeline and see who you want to see later after the stream and, and the links are always going to be there all star i'll put that hashtag in this description so that anybody that sees this um this video will be able to hit that hashtag and for those of you who don't i was trying to explain hashtags earlier um to someone else if you put a hashtag in your description it doesn't do your it wasn't you chris <laughs> uh, but well maybe it was i don't know but if you put a hashtag in your description a lot of people don't know what that's for um uh, holy cow becca i couldn't even finish my train of thought uh to help advertise this i can't help since i'm not on social media yet i will becca i will i'll do everything i can thank you so much for that blessing that made my face turn red <laughs> that is wow generous. thank you very generous um what was i saying oh yeah the hashtags <laughs> so if you if you too uh so dieter caleb said he would boom becca yeah thank you becca uh-oh we lost there he is so if you put a hashtag in your video description it doesn't really help your video out what it does is it helps um, it helps your other videos out. It helps the the topic that you're talking about. I'm going to mention Dieter in here because he's really good at hashtags. Most of his videos where he's teaching you something, he puts hashtag how to catch catfish. And if you click on that hashtag, guess what? All of Dieter's videos pop up with all of his tutorials about how to catch catfish. And so I'm trying to do the same thing with the golden whiskers. If if you put golden whiskers in your in your in your video description, the hashtag, when people click on golden whiskers, all those videos will show up and it'll be easier for them to nominate. So the same thing with catfish conference. Any video with the hashtag catfish conference in it will pop up when you click it. So one thing that other YouTubers can do to help out with the catfish conference is you can make a video talking about what we just discussed promoting it hey everybody let's all meet together on the catfish conference the hashtags in the description the video the link is in the description so if you want to help out that way you can and becca that's a way that you can help out um you know i mean you just you just bless my channel with that so i thank you but that's another way that you can help out um let's see somebody just said look at my previous comment um please go ahead put the comment in because chat is is popping I do want to take a second, if y'all don't mind. I I missed my YouTube channel of the week last week, and so every every Sunday I try to promote a YouTube channel of the week, and that's Miss Sharina keeping it real. She was live earlier today, and and Chris saw. I mean, uh, not Chris. Uh, Steve popped in there for a minute, and a bunch of people popped in there. Go check out Sharina keeping it real. Um, the link is in the description for her channel page, go check it out. She just started doing a live stream and it was awesome. She's very personable and very funny. And her husband, Thomas is awesome too. She fishes from her backyard, y'all. She can walk out of the house and fish right in the, right in the I think it's the White River, I think in uh, Indiana. But anyway, go check her out. 
I'm talking a lot, so interrupt me if you want. Herbie, you got anything to add in there? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, for all those guys out there that want to promote the event as well, uh, let us know. Uh, go on the website, live chat with us or whatever. And if you want some custom graphics, banners, whatever material you need to put on your videos, just, just ask. We will make something happen. We'll create them for you. Um, we're here to help you as well. So just connect with us. Yep. Uh, yeah, the link to her channel is in the description. She said yes on the White River. So y'all heard it. Herve said that he will send you graphics, uh, high quality graphics to put in your videos if you want to edit them and, and make them nice. If you if you want to, just do a Facebook Live. I mean, how many people will you reach on Facebook Live, especially if you're a small channel like mine? You know, going live on my Facebook, my actual Facebook page where I have hundreds of more people, <laughs> you know, We'll reach more people or do it on all of them, you know. So we expect Chris to uh, be live streaming, talking about the Catfish Conference. Right, Chris? Of course. You know, it, <laughs> I'm man. trying to I'm trying to get Chris to actually come on out there with us and hang out. Uh, <laughs> I, don't talk, I don't talk to him about that. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he said yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, all Chris has to worry about is up, bringing. I'm sorry. He's just got to bring one of each rod with them and uh because actually all anybody really wants is that medium heavy act that medium action rod that's all they want chris yeah. so just bring one and and uh pick Herve up with it and <laughs> well they need to tune in because i got another little surprise on my sleeve that nobody Ooh. knows about uh oh uh -oh. i'll just leave that right there <laughs> what's the catfish <laughs> conference website link um, I don't know if I put the link to the website in the description. That's a good point. But what is the address? Catfishconference.com or just Google Catfish Conference. You cannot miss us. All right, y'all put in your uh, put in your questions. We only made CatCon once. It was great. Thanks to everyone for the hard work. Awesome. This would have uh, been our sixth year, I believe, wasn't it, right? Uh, Six or Six. 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 Who, who said catfishermen were low tech? Better recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Things are changing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, can't wait for the soul five. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, let's see. Surprise. <laughs> okay, surprise. Auto correct there. <laughs> uh, Has life said he likes surprises. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let's see. So no catfish conference this year. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we should do a little recap. How about we do a little recap? Um, and, and that's fine. Cool catfish. I didn't mean to laugh. It's just we were we were wrapping it up, and uh, your question just tickled me a little bit. So yes, there's no physical catfish conference this year. Uh, no physical catfish conference this year. It's going to be a virtual catfish conference during the same days that the actual conference would have happened, February 26th and 27th. Steve's got a list of vendors so far. Steve, you want to read those off again? Yeah. Um, and Epic Catfish asked a question. Catch the uh, fever, catfish clothing, monster rod holders, Angling with catfish, rods, mad cat rods, and tackle. I think they had tackle too. Muddy River catfishing and ripping lips. And then you have, uh, on a, well, he said he cornered Luke Nichols cornered to Luke do Nichols. a seminar. Yeah. And Epic Catfish would be doing a seminar. And I couldn't remember the other fellow's name. I'm sorry. Harry Rogers. Tony Rogers. Got a Harry Rogers got a YouTube Harry channel too. Man. He's uh he's on the my pro staff and I think he's on Ripping Lips Pro Staff. So he's a he's a licensed guide in the Western Kentucky area on the Ohio River. So there's B O R fishing, Bill of Rights fishing. Welcome. I'm sure he heard my answer to that. Will Catfit? What was that? Man, the pop the chat is stopping in to say hello, Catfish Code. Hello, Catfish Code. Will Catfish Dave be on stage singing? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think anybody's going to be there but but the team. Um, <laughs> let's see. Jumped in late. Uh, that sucks. I'm tired of virus. Yeah, we all are. We all are cool cats fishing. We all feel you. 
Um, I was going to be there on my birthday. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all not completely canceling on me. That's awesome. So you guys are getting uh, you guys are getting some good good feedback, and that's awesome. I'm glad that's happening. Um, there's Ryan Boards. Let's see. I was really looking forward to being uh, a vendor. Looking to see about a vendor next year. Well, Carl, you can still be a vendor this year. Um, yeah. Email info at catfishconference.com. Um, and then Hervé and Steve will get you set up and, and you can talk to them about being a virtual vendor. All you have to do is have a cell phone and a good connection, Wi-Fi or a, a, a really good cell phone connection. And a good backdrop. We, we want the viewer experience to be the best it can. So we, we're going to require some kind of little backdrop. I like Chris has got right there. That's perfect. That's my bed sheet, man. I got <laughs> you know, and I believe that too. I believe that is his actual bed sheet. <laughs> I got at least he, river pillow covers too. At least he washed it before he put it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So somebody said, "Can I ask a question?" Absolutely, you can ask a question. Just go ahead and ask it. Um, then maybe the second day can be YouTube channel day. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I mean, that's a that was a great idea Timmy had. Um, you know, obviously none of us had thought about it. So that's something we got to talk about if he's, if it's even possible. Dieter said what I miss. <laughs> uh, Caleb said he would contact you or get in contact with you. Just think we can fish while going to CatCon this year. Don't have to choose one or the other. I like that. I like that attitude. <laughs> we want to see you on your boat. Hey, so here's a good question. Um, I just thought of it. What if there's some people out there that maybe want to do a seminar? Could they contact you the same way? I mean, that would fill in a lot of time, and it would be interesting. Uh, yeah, you talking about on their boat live or just? Uh, probably, live? probably not live on the boat. Just for signal, you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. But like, um, shoot, I mean, it would be nice to maybe. And and I'm speaking for him, so Chunky, you know, forgive me. But Chunky Cats, you know, has those glowing rods. What if he did a seminar on how to do one? That would be pretty cool. Or if he did one where he showed you how to do the high reflective tape, you know. So Chunky, if you, I'm sure he's listening, um, that'd be something cool, something like that. Could mm -hmm. they contact you and, and just sure. at least present that to you? Yeah. Awesome. I sure can. And so they would email info at catfishconference.com. Is that correct? That's right. But That's going to get to her Yeah, it, it gets to me, but we, we relay that to whoever needs to answer. And, and also on the on the website, you have a small live chat icon on the bottom right of your screen. Um, if you leave a message, it comes straight to us, and we answer all of those messages. Um, so, and, and most of the time, Steve will contact you back. So you heard it there, Chunky Cats. Let's talk. Let's get you on there. Show people how to make a, a rod glow, man. Maybe we can yeah. take a maybe we can take a muddy river rod and bling it out. <laughs> there you go. Dieter said the, with the ponytail, I could give Hervé a run for his money with the well groomed hair. <laughs> it's the European way. Come on now. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to. Uh, Epic said he needs a three-hour time slot, so I guess we could break him up throughout the day. He could talk about wing dikes for 20 minutes. He could talk about catfish science for another 20 minutes. You know, I was going to do a video two days ago on the Ohio River about wing dikes, and I pulled up her to get on it, and there's jugs around every wing dike wow. up around the Ohio River you can find. So. Any little deep hole, Eddie. I think I think the jugs are for uh, paddlefish, but still messed up my days of fishing. Hooks and Hammock said I would be honored to give away a one hundred dollar gift card to a lucky subscriber to the Catfish Conference and Hooks and Hammocks, if that's okay. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I just don't know. Do you want to do it now on this show? I'm not sure how we could um, verify that they're. Uh, subscribe to the catfish conference i can I mean, try they, to pull that up real quick okay cool well there you go people hooks and hammocks 
Says that they want to donate a hundred dollar gift card. Epic can take as long as he wants. People like hearing that guy talk, you know. Yeah, I think we might we, have to put, we might have to put Epic on one of those uh, YouTube seminars that we were talking about. I have to when I get off the far thing here tonight. I'll I'll do some thinking and see how we can do that. But have you all decided which bait you can or can't use? Uh, I think you might be talking about the. Um, the super cat give back. Uh, we'll talk about that next weekend. Uh, I just want to keep this one to the catfish conference because I believe Herbe is going to download, or I'm going to download this episode and send it to him so that it can go up on the catfish conference uh, YouTube page too. I think, you know what? Chris Flores could do a seminar on chicken liver chum bait. <laughs> You know, bring me back that old school bait, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, Paula Smith could do a, a seminar for lady anglers or a, any angler, but maybe um, maybe we can talk to Paula. So, yeah, there's a lot of good. So how about this? If you guys are interested and, I don't, you know, we don't want to put Paula on the spot. If Paula's interested, she knows how to get in touch with Steve. <laughs> so if you want, if you think you might have something to offer to the um, – to the catfish conference as far as a seminar or you want to be a vendor, um, go ahead and send that email to info at catfishconference.com or go over to the Facebook page and message them on the Facebook page, or I'm sure there's contact information on the catfishconference.com website. Uh, let's see. Um, somebody said they're new. Mark Dead 11, new here. Well, welcome, Mark Dead 11. Y'all make sure you hit that thumbs up. We still got 168 people. Um, Paula asked Steve to contact her tomorrow. Um, okay, well, we'll let that go. Uh, Steve, will, Steve will do what he can. I can do a live seminar on proper sandbar etiquette techniques, so we don't need that. <laughs> okay, so everybody let me know when you're ready. I haven't, Have I got the confirmation from Hooked yet? Anybody seen that comment? Hooks and hammocks. He hasn't responded, or he or she hasn't responded back. There you go. Get up with Hannah Barron to do a noodling seminar. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you got it? I think I do. I think I do. We can do it whenever is easiest. Herve, my email is hooksandhammocks at gmail.com. Well, let's try to do that um, one of those next days so we're properly prepared to, to do it the awesome. right way. Awesome. So we'll do it, we'll do it um, on one of those catfish conference days. There we uh, go. That's a good idea. Awesome. Well, hey, I, I, I've enjoyed you know, talking with you guys about the catfish conference, and um, I can't find CatCon to subscribe. Well, David, it's in the description. If you click on the description, all the links are down there. And it's easy as just clicking on it. Um, and that's another thing. So let me let me reiterate this. Check out the descriptions on YouTube videos. I think that's the most undersold, underutilized um, form of data on YouTube. A lot of people don't check out descriptions. And sometimes it's because they're on like a, a TV and they can't look at the descriptions. And we get that. But if you're on your cell phone or you're on a computer, Click on that description in the video and you'll get a lot of information, descriptions about the video, hashtags, so you can search other videos in that content area, links to uh, gear. I know Steve was telling me he had a question about a mic the other day and he clicked on the link in, uh, on, on my, um, in my description. And so he was easily able to get that for himself. So, yes, this is going to be epic. Boom. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa yeah. said, uh, didn't know you guys going to be running live today. My bad. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Matt Miles said, hey, fellas. What's going on, Mike? Hey, Matt. All right. Cool. Uh, here's an idea. Have about five or six non-biased tournament pros live test and bend and talk about pros and cons of each vendor rods. That would require more people to come together, but hey, I, your idea was heard. <laughs> uh, what's up, gentlemen? Okay, cool. All right, well, I don't see any other questions. Thanks, I just subscribed. All right, cool. Muddy River Rods have green chili juju. 
<laughs> All right, y'all. Well, again, if you want to contact Hervé or Steve, you know, the links are in the description. Go check out catfishconference.com and uh, you can get a hold of them if you're a vendor or if you want to be a, um, a, a seminar person. Or if you have any other ideas, go flood the Facebook page with ideas. And Hervé welcomed it. So you're not going to hurt his feelings. <laughs> We're asking for it. He's asking. He's a glutton for punishment. He wants it. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get this, better. This is a great idea. This that's a good idea. Epic. Okay, yeah, it was. Uh, let's see. Strawberry Jello official chicken bait at CatCon twenty one. Oh lord. Rock bottom cats. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Awesome. Uh, here's a good question. Are we buying something online? Is it PayPal credit or Venmo? So if you're talking about during the Catfish Conference, it, most of the vendors do accept PayPal, um, credit cards, of course, uh, through other payments, gateways. And, and some of them are most likely going to do things over the phone with you know their uh, POS system. So um, I think those would be the three main things that we are going to see. Venmo, maybe, but I, I would not really bank on that. Venmo is a young person's game, I think. I have, <laughs> I got a bunch of people that want to Venmo me at church. I'm like, what is Venmo? It's to pay your rod. It's not to pay your rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, er everybody will, will also go to the vendor's website to buy. The Catfish Conference will not take any money from anybody for vendors. So it's once, once you do it, you're dealing with Catch the Fever or Muddy River or Monster Rod That's Holders. Good. That's who you're dealing with. We're just bringing yeah. everybody together. That's a good. That's a good point of clarification. So you're not actually buying stuff from the Catfish Conference. So basically, what'll happen is these vendors will be giving you codes or promotional codes, or they'll just be right. running a deal on their website. Mm -hmm. um, however, they want to do it, and that's the freedom of the vendor. They can do it however they wish. Uh, right. However much they decide to give you, you know, is you know, you just got to be, you got to watch the show, you know, because uh, I know if I owned a business and this is just me talking and I hope it doesn't offend anybody. I don't think it will. But if I was a vendor, I would only run these promos for sat that Friday and Saturday, maybe that Sunday. And so that people that watch the show can benefit from it. People, because if you go to the um, if you go to the Catfish Conference, that's the only time you could take advantage of the deals anyway. Correct. Mm -hmm. That, that's right. That's right. And and again, you know, y'all keep in mind this is the first time this is happening, and most of the vendors have stocked up. So it may take exceptionally a little bit longer to you know push all the the inventory out. So there might be some some exceptions, but in the spirit, you're right. Um, you know, it, it should be over the weekend, maybe a day or two more, but something like that. Awesome. Thank you for that, Irving. And and we got we got a celebrity in here, y'all. Who's that? Fishing for Clarence. He's he's pro staff, but better. <laughs> he needs to do the seminar. I yeah, we need yes. Yes, we need a fishing with Clarence seminar. <laughs> you know who fishing with Clarence is, uh Steve. <laughs> yeah, I did a video with him last year, but I've never seen the video, so it must have not made the cut. Oh, man, you must not have. <laughs> Let's see, Clarence turned me onto that strawberry hot dog catfish candy. <laughs> oh, man, what's with the red? The red is for, for monster rod holders and Steve. <laughs> um, let's see. Fishing with Clarence said, I might consider it. There you go. I think everybody that would be that would be really funny, actually. That would be fun, yeah. That would be really, really funny. And you could sell it as, you know, hey, we're gonna hear from a, a famous pro staffer. You know, you're really gonna hear from this guy, and then he comes on there and it's just it'll be fun for everybody. Yeah. I hope I hope he decides to contact you guys and, and do that. That'll be awesome. <laughs> um Palmetto stage promo code, say 15% for the days of the show and five. That's a great idea for the vendors. Again, the, the vendors are going to choose all of that. And, you know, a lot of these vendors have, they have, you know, 
money people and numbers people on their teams, people that run their accounting, and they'll they'll do creative stuff. I'm sure, you mm. know. Like I think that's that's Hervey, and and he the 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 numbers guy for you, Steve. Yeah, he's he's the numbers guy, the IT guy, <laughs> the everything guy. <laughs> the everything, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you you know that 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 brings me back. That it's our job to get people to the Catfish Conference. It's our job to get vendors to the Catfish Conference. I don't view this little project any different. I'm gonna work just as hard to get people seen and get people connected as if we was having a real com uh, conference. And that's where I shine is the people. Uh, Hervey's good with people too, but he's better with numbers and organization. And, uh, I bring him <laughs> I've, in. And he I've enjoyed. Out. I've enjoyed meeting you, Hervey. <laughs> At least someone's happy. Great. <clears throat> <laughs> Hervey yeah, plays a big part in this. Yeah, I can already tell that just from the 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 couple times I've had interaction with Hervey. Hervey is a good guy, and I, I believe both of you have it in your heart. Um, even if this isn't ideal for the customer, it's not ideal for the fan, it's not ideal for the vendor. Um, you know, some people may may wonder what you know how they'll benefit, but I think what you said, Steve, just nailed it on the head. It's about coming together. It's about having an atmosphere where we can do the next best thing right. to actually coming together. And I think, you know, getting to see these vendors, um, maybe, you know, some of the celebrities like fishing with Clarence or, <laughs> you know, or whoever that decides right. to come in and talk and that YouTube thing's great, man. The more I think about it, we'll, we'll talk, but, um, yeah. but uh, I think it's going to, that, that aspect of it is really going to bring people together and really make it something fun. That's what I'm liking about the whole thing is, is making it fun and beneficial for everybody. So really looking forward to it. So Hervey fishes or not? Do you fish Hervey? Of course. <laughs> how can you, how can you run the catfish conference and not fish? <laughs> well, I'll have to say, I have to, uh -oh. I have to admit uh -oh. that. So when I first heard about a catfish, I was overseas. It was a financial conference and I, and I saw National Geographic about catfishing. It was monsters in the Ohio. And at the oh. time I was living overseas and I didn't, I mean, I was not coming to the U.S. Uh, uh, as often. And, and I watched the show and I was like, that's impossible. Those catfish look like whales. It was the first time I actually heard of a catfish. And I said, you know what? I, I, I decided to believe this is not real. This is like fiction. And I just like went to bed right away. And a couple of years later, when Jeff contacted me through Steve and everybody and said, hey, we're going to put a catfish conference together. I'm like, what is a cat catfish? <laughs> are, you, are you serious about that? And we ended up like running the catfish conference. So I believe it's real. Yes, I have to go fishing, of course. I know all the back end of the fishing. I started with that, but now it's it, it becomes more real. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see. We, we do have a few more people saying stuff. Let's see. It's going to – is Steve going to have a spot to show off the monster products? Of course, right, Steve? I am. I'm probably going to have my staff in there, though, because I'm going to be with you. But I, I will. I'll back and forth it with them. Yeah, we're, we're going to show monster rod holders. Monster's Maybe been some, a big supporter of the Catfish Conference. It Maybe someone good it. with uh, fishing rods have a short section on rod repairs, a rod building, basic rod design, Catfish Weekly? question mark that's a great idea a lot a lot of great ideas um, well i'll tell you lyle was at the very first catfish conference with us uh, i don't think he made it last year i'm not sure why he didn't make it last year but uh he's been to everyone except for last year's i do believe so, so he, he was kind of he was lyle kind of the, lyle was kind of the voice of the catfish conference uh for a while if that's with the videos we had out and all. So I remember those. Great. And, and, and Hervey, or no, was it one of y'all said, you know, YouTube has really done a lot for the cat catfish conference. And to be honest, that's the first time I ever heard of a catfish conference was people making YouTube videos about it. Mm -hmm. YouTube has helped us enormously. Awesome. It really has. Uh, Hervey, do you want to tell everybody where you're from originally? You all have a guess. Write in the comment, which country do you think I'm from? There you go. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Combat Carl needs a seminar. 
for learning how to catch trophy cats. Oh, for other oh, people, that yeah. Sounds like he he'd be a good one too. I mean, he's got a lot of information. I don't know if that's Carl's cup of tea, but well, Her Herve is is a jack of all trades. If he he's been there, he's done it, he's seen it. Herve's been around a minute. But let me just for a hint, he's very neutral. Let me just put it that way. If 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 you can't figure that one out, <laughs> France ain't neutral. I don't know. Of. Don't do that to me, not friends. <laughs> I'm just going through them. <laughs> Poland, uh, Ukraine. Christina thinks Keep Ukraine. Going. Keep going. Yugoslavia, <laughs> Maine, <laughs> <laughs> Spain. I'm gonna say Kentucky, and everybody's gonna be disappointed. But it, it, it's Switzerland. There we go. There you go. Troy has it right. Right. There we go. Switzerland. <laughs> Cool. So, are you an Abu fan? Abu Garcia fan? Absolutely. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Herve. Right. Is this from Switzerland? <laughs> are they from Switzerland? No, I thought were. Well, wasn't that an Australian company? I think Not they're yet. Germany, but I think they made some in Swiss Switzerland one time. Uh -huh. Herve. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, we got a lot of. You are talking with Carl. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm from Kentucky, an officer in the Swiss Guard. Matt, we're, we're diving into, into deep secrets over here. <laughs> yeah, Abu is Sweden. That's what I thought. <laughs> Swede for Abu. Cool. Well, hey, I know we could sit in here and we could talk all night. And, you know, if I didn't have to work tomorrow and if you guys didn't have catfish conference planning to do and, and uh, you know, Chris didn't have to go tear somebody's house down and go guide a fishing trip. <laughs> but y'all, I, I really do appreciate all of you coming in. Um, y'all in chat, I, I promise you that Steve and Hervé and myself and Steve's and Hervé's whole team is going to work diligently to make this the best they can. I do want everybody to keep in mind that there's less than a month of planning going into this. So, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to, to fill out everything and make it perfect, but they're going to try to do the best that they can to, you know, to get you a good experience. It, it, it's going to work out because, you, you know, my, 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 I don't want to say, I don't say my partners, I guess, Jeff Jones Marine is the guy that helped us in the very first one. Mm -hmm. in January, about January 5th is when we decided we were going to do the first ever catfish conference. And that was in February. So we had about a month to plan mm. the real one. <laughs> and it worked out tremendously. We had people, we was open at nine o'clock. We had people coming at the doors at 7 a.m. from Chris all told me over that the story. country. All <laughs> over the country. So we worked good under pressure. A, a, a funny story about that. So when we first launched the website, so we had enabled even Bright uh, as a provider for our tickets. We, we wanted to have an understanding of how many people would, would come. And initially, we we're thinking about, you know, uh, 100 people, maybe 200 people. And I told Steve, well, you know, let's put 250 tickets available. And so I, we programmed that, launched the website. He does a post on YouTube. And, and you call me like two or three hours later. And I, I remember because I was at a restaurant dining. And you're calling me, oh, the, the website is broken. It's not working. I'm getting complaints. I'm like, well, what is happening? I checked the website. Everything is up and running. Everything was good. And we checked the tickets, and everything was gone in a matter of hours. And we did that a few times. It went to 500 tickets, 700 tickets, and we it was over, what, 1,200 or 1,500 wow. first yeah. year. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. I mean, we could not believe what was happening. And then they um, came from all over the place. I like like yeah. nine states the first first year. It was 16, 16 states the first 16, year. Yeah. People Chris, tell your story about how about, you know, people sneaking in the back door. It, yeah, man, it was crazy. Uh, we, we were set to open at nine and, pe you know, vendors are coming in and out. And all of a sudden, uh, just people were sneaking in through the back door and asking for products and the vendors aren't going to say no. So they were selling right then and there from 7 a.m. to 9 o'clock. A lot of the vendors had already sold out on that first day. Yeah. They didn't anticipate that many people. It was awesome. 
it was an awesome experience. And I think the more that we all promote this, the more that the viewers can share it, um, the vendors will share. And, and a lot of these vendors like, you know, Catfish and, and, um, and Catfish, I think, reaches millions of people. Um, you know, if they share it, you know, Caleb and Chris and, you know, I don't want to miss anybody, but all the vendors who have a huge social media presence, if they share it, I mean, it could be massive. We could have mm. thousands of people in the chat, y'all. And I think that's going to be awesome. That is what we're planning on. And if I have to use my YouTube channel, I got nearly 100,000. I can use it I, to promote it. I definitely as well. think you should. <laughs> I think I think between you and Chris, you're reaching almost 200,000 people. Yeah. I really think, and, you know, maybe you can get, I don't know, let me not say that, but maybe Luke Nichols could, could promote something on outdoor poison. Then, <laughs> then you got a million people there. <laughs> right. Steve can corner him a hey. second time. Yeah, yeah. Luke, the second time. Luke showed up at the very first one, very first comic. I know him and uh, Chris there had a, a height contest or something. <laughs> yeah, I saw that picture. <laughs> <laughs> you still got that picture, Steve? Uh, I got it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You you sta you standing on about a five foot ladder and next to Luke, and he's standing on his feet. <laughs> yeah, get head to head with it, man. I had to stand on the on the ladder. <laughs> yeah. But Luke, Luke's been a big supporter of our of Catfish Conference for years. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesse and and other people talking about shipping again. All the discounts and codes and everything are going to be dependent on the on the vendors. So mm -hmm. Catfish Conference is just the medium to bring everybody together, right. um, and, and the vendors will be the ones who decide what kind of what kind of discounts. Uh, you know, Chris said that he's got something secretive going on there, Chris. Since people are asking, do you have anything that you can tell anybody about what you'll be offering? Something to look forward to? Oh, I'll definitely be offering discounts um, for sure. I'm, I'm probably going to maybe do some giveaways as well. Um, I, and then I've got the an unveiling of something or another. I'm not sure what. I can't say. But you guys will have to tune in. And, and uh, I had planned this originally for the actual Catfish Conference. And uh, really nobody knows about it. I haven't mentioned it, but I wanted it just to be a big surprise. Not even a Stephen Hervey? I think I know about it. Steve knows. Do I know about it. All right, I that's what I thought. I don't have too much from Steve, but I ain't saying a thing. It's your deal. <laughs> that's that's gonna be a surprise for everybody. Yeah. Well, think... Dang, Steve. Steve is getting all giddy over there, y'all. This must be something awesome. That's good. It's gonna be fun for Chris. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm excited about it, guys. I can't wait. Yeah, I, you guys. Uh, Send me that bowl wrap, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget to sub to Catfish Conference and Hooks and Hammocks. He's going to be giving away a um, $100 gift card during the conference. And uh, Hooks and Hammocks, make sure you get in contact with Hervé so y'all can set that up um, so that it's uh, – <laughs> so, so it'll be successful. Michael Murillo said, Anything is possible for a small legal fee. <laughs> Look at that. Steve, what about a CatCon bumper sticker or boat sticker to use for ad value? There's another idea. Yeah, um, Hervey's probably got some bumper stickers or stickers over there that uh, we give away with our subscriptions. We have some uh, membership uh, stickers. Those are like large, relatively large, round-shaped stickers. But uh, I think we got to do something that's better for you, your, your car, your boat, a little bit longer and uh, different, you know, different sizes, different um, designs. So we got about thirty days. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll call you tomorrow and we'll get it figured out. We got about thirty days. We we have something. Don't you worry. We yeah, we're good. We're good. Thirty days is enough. We pulled the first yeah. conference in 30 or 40 days, so yeah. no, it's crazy. I, <laughs> I know I'm good. excited. So Anna and I will be coming up to to hang out with the CatCon team, and we're so excited that we still get to have a little vac mini vacay in February. Um, so well, we'll be having a couple of days, and I'll take you fishing. I can't guarantee. Yeah, we'll I gotta, fish, I gotta go try fishing. to, I gotta try to get Anna some days off because, uh, you know, we we already said that Sunday was going to be our travel day, and I'm going to do the best I can, okay. <laughs> but if not, I'll definitely come up there and get a rain check, <laughs> but um, a couple of days early. 
There you go. Either way. <laughs> yep. We'll, we'll work something out. Awesome. So people are said, I can't, I can't wait. So excited, man. Uh, thank you for all the ideas. Yeah. Something to catch their eyes. Thank you for all the ideas. Again, if you have ideas, man, two old vets has got it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's just playing around, but y'all, um, if you have any other ideas, again, flood Facebook on the catfish conference, Facebook page, email Herve or Steve and just, you know, get everything in. Cause we can't do anything if we don't have the idea, right? It won't yeah. happen if the idea isn't there. Uh, all right, look at this. Steve, Steve won't like this, but Steve Douglas autographed merchandise would be nice. <laughs> Y'all, Steve says he's a regular dude, but I understand the question. <laughs> Maybe a monster rod holder hat used <laughs> to bring him luck. How about a, how about a catfish hat? That's what the surprise is, a new catfish hat from Muddy River Catfishing. <laughs> I can't change this one, man. Uh, all right y'all we've been in here for an hour and 26 minutes we still got 152 people in here thank you so much make sure you hit the thumbs up, up. check out sharina keeping it real link in the description along with catcon all the links um thank you to miss becca for the hundred dollar donation that was awesome and flat rock flatheads for the 499 you guys sure did bless me tonight and i appreciate it 100 percent 110 percent so um, just like every show, I'm going to pray us out, and we're going to get out of here. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to chat with these wonderful men and talk about an event that's going to be exciting, Lord. And I just ask you to bless it. I ask you to wrap your arms around it and put all of your spirit into this event so that it'll be successful and that uh, you can claim the victory for it. Lord, I pray that uh, everybody in chat would be safe, that they would send their ideas, Lord, that all the vendors would be blessed um, by putting their faith into Steve and Hervé's team, Lord, that they would uh, take that leap of faith and, and join us as we all come together in this event. And like always, I thank you for this platform to share my love for fishing and my love for you. And I uh, give you all the credit for that. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, gentlemen, stick around until after the show. Everyone else, uh, thank you. And until next time, happy